out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour Be viewing out the outpouring your for your refreshing and infilling. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit on me. Precious viewers of the Outpouring program, we're going to be giving you a special over the next two weeks. We are going to be listening to a wonderful message by Evangelist Marcus Lucas. And this recording was done at the home of the Outpouring, number 23, Otley Street, where Evangelist Lucas would normally come from Trinidad and share with the believers every first Saturday of the month. This program that you're going to be viewing it's based on that account that Jesus had in the Bible with one of his miracles with the lady who, you know, reached out to him for her daughter who was sick. And we all know that account where he referred to, he said that you don't cast, you don't throw the bread for the dogs. And this woman, she believed she didn't become stuck at the place of offense but she pressed in and got her breakthrough in faith. So stay tuned for this week's viewing of the outpouring where Evangelist Lucas expounds on that word, not allowing offense to hinder your breakthrough in faith, believing God for whatever you have to receive. Stay tuned. Well, uh, I greet you in Jesus' name. This is the inn gathering at Utley Street in Scarborough, Tobago. I'm Evangelist Marcus Lucas and um, uh, Minister Margaret Berkeley is the, 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 the owner of this resident. But this morning I want to just greet you in Jesus' name. And um, we just want to pray this morning. Father, we pray that you take full control and charge of everything to be done here, Father. And we pray that no self will be seen today, Father, but the Holy Spirit will begin to minister to the life of those that are here and those who are listening by, the, by, by TV, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, that you take full control and charge, Father. Let the word reach into the homes of people and begin to touch them, heal them, deliver them, and set them free, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we declare that we declare the fire of God in the atmosphere right now. We declare the blood of Jesus, God, and we command the angel to stand guard right now with me, God, and the Holy Ghost and Jesus to minister today in the mighty name of Jesus right now. And I give you praise and I give you thanks in this atmosphere right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, welcome you welcome everybody this morning it's good to, it's good to be here this morning and um the lord truly be with you and the lord bless you and the lord you know just take over your life and consume you with his presence the bible said in mark chapter 15 and verse 21 when Jesus went hence and departed into the coast of, of Tyre and Sodom, and behold, a woman of the Canaanite came out of the same coast and cried unto him and saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. In other words, she was possessed. Amen. But Jesus answered her not a word. In that time, in that period of time, the Jews had no relationship with nobody else at that point in time. 
And the disciple came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. You see how, how, how religious people can be? Because she was not of, of their own kind, the Jews. She told, he, they told Jesus to send her away, cast her aside. And this is why, this is why Jesus has said that had anointed us in such a way that we can set the captive free. We can mend the broken heart. We ought not to cast out no one. But what we need to show love and affection to people who are bound up, who, who, are, who are broken. Hallelujah. We are here to mend their broken heart. Hallelujah this morning. And Jesus, and he, and he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel that's what Jesus said and then came she and worship him saying Lord help me you understand what she did here she began to worship Jesus she began to bow down and worship him it's important to understand, hallelujah, she, she did not be offended, and, and I'm going to go on a little further. And, Jesus, and verse 26 said, she, and he answered and said, it is not me to take the churn bread and cast it to dogs. Glory to God. Now she could have been offended. She will be offended. The statement to cast it to dogs. You know what was a dog? A four-legged beast. You're taking the things of God and you're casting to dogs. And she said, Truly, Lord, yet the dog eat the crumbs which fall from their master table. She had a revelation. She was understanding, yes, I know, hallelujah, we are not supposed to mingle with the Jews. But Jesus has the power, he has the answer. And I want it, because my daughter is possessed, she is sick, hallelujah, he has the answer. She was not offended, and some of the time people are offended by certain things, by certain statement, by certain things that come to their life. But the statement comes to correct, to know if you truly want to be delivered, or you truly love God, or you truly want to get out of your situation in where you are. We get perplexed by certain statement. Correction comes to us because it is a, it's a good thing. Hallelujah. And if, and if God did not correct me for that seven months, hallelujah, hallelujah, I was not able to say to, to people, hallelujah, God is a truly, a God is a provider. He's a mighty God. I went you. Glory to God. And then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy fate. Be it unto thee, even as thou will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Come on, somebody. If we want help from Jesus, we need to make noise. We need to bow it out unto Jesus. Because man could only help you to a point. But when you call the name of Jesus Christ, he is willing to hear your clarion call. He is willing to hear that call and come and deliver you. Hallelujah. It is not nice to be called a dog. But she, listen, she moved far past that by calling her a dog. Hallelujah. And she come to a point, listen, I want help for my daughter. My daughter is grieved with the devil. She's bound up. 
and nobody in my in my tribe could help me hallelujah nobody could help me so she looked outside her tribe hallelujah and she went to the jews and jesus was a jews hallelujah, and he had the answer he was moving in the power of the holy ghost glory to god and she realized that jesus is with her listener jesus is able to do it she understand the man of authority she understand uh, the, the, the grace and the anointing she understand the power on jesus life that the, because of the disciples uh, they're so caught up in religious uh, tolerance and so forth like that hallelujah that they, they, they came to jesus hallelujah and they tell jesus to send she away They had no compassion. They had no love at that time to understand hallelujah, the love of Christ. Because God come to deliver people to set the captive free. And this is why today as believers we need to be in God. The face of God that we can set people free. Hallelujah. God has anointed us. Hallelujah. Not, the, not only the preacher man. Not only the, the pastor. The teacher. God has anointed us. Hallelujah. To set the captive free. He set the, the, send the, he anointed the saints to set the captive free. As long as you are willing. Hallelujah. As long as you are willing to, to live holy and righteous before God. God is willing to anoint you. Hallelujah. To pray for the sick. And to cast off devils. Just as the apostle. Just as the evangelist. Just as anybody else. He is willing to anoint you to do that. Because hallelujah. Hallelujah. The work is, is plenty. Hallelujah. And we need the saints to rise up in the things of God. Hallelujah. And go and do the work of the kingdom. And bring release. To those who are bound up in the things of God. It is so important that, that she didn't look at her circumstances. She didn't look at what was confronting her and the statement that was come out of Jesus' mouth. You see, when you're back against the wall and no one can help you, but you recognize that God anointed somebody that can help you at that point in time to come out of your troubles. And I was recently, it was so, I don't know if it's, um, my friend here, I don't know what take place, but some connection take place where somebody knew me from here, called somebody in England, and then the person in England called his sister, and his sister had her number down. Had a number, had my number down. And it reached her point that she was in a critical condition. There was the spirit of, of debt. There's the, the, she was possessed because she backslid and she went and had a relation with somebody. Hallelujah. And she, she called me that day in desperation. And I was downstairs just you know, getting myself into the things of God. Hallelujah. And she called me. And I came in the yard. And in the yard like this, just right outside there. And cars passing up and down. And I began to pray with her. I began to pray with her on the phone. And I began to tell her to take some anointing oil and begin to drink it. And I began to cast out devils. And while casting out the devils from her on the phone, you, you could hear the devils coming out from her in the mighty name of Jesus. Coming out from her. She began to cough it up. And while talking to her, the Spirit of the Lord tell me that, listener, that I saw the spirit of death upon her. That only accident would have about to take place. And she said, yes, evangelist, yes, hallelujah, like a spirit of death, hallelujah, since I buy this car, hallelujah. And she did not dedicate the car to the Lord, and like death was upon the car. But I, and I begin to pray, and begin to cancel the spirit of death upon her, hallelujah. The Lord had a God somebody. 
Glory to God, somebody. I'm talking about, I was not in her presence. But as I sit down there in Erin, hallelujah, and I sit down there in Erin, where I'm living, hallelujah, but I'm, I sense that I was in the room with her, hallelujah, and the Holy Ghost was with me, Jesus with me, the angel of God was with me in that room, and we begin to do surgery work upon this young woman and cast out those devils in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And this is what, listener, it was desperation, hallelujah. But she reached out, I guess, to the man of God, but she reached out for Jesus, and Jesus had the answer. And this woman was in desperation, hallelujah. And Jesus had the answer. It's not about nobody else, but Jesus had the answer. Hallelujah. She went way beyond the calling of names, hallelujah, as a dog. And she replied, hallelujah. She said, hallelujah. She said, she said, and she said, true. Yes, it's true. It is true, hallelujah. It is true. But yet, the dog eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. She understand, hey, somebody, when you're eating, hallelujah. When you're by the table, hallelujah, and you have a dog, it will wag its tail. And, and, and sometimes you, you eat the bone and you give him the bone, hallelujah. Hey, somebody, hey, that's, hallelujah. that's the power of God, hallelujah. That's the power of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Just the, the bones, the dog will eat. The woman go to, listen, she went to the depths. She understand the revelation. She understand the power of Jesus Christ. And she wanted help for her daughter, hallelujah. Because it reached a point when the devil, the Bible said the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus come to give life and give life in abundantly. In other words, in other words, Jesus is Jesus is able. I am saying to you. I don't, I don't, I, I, I come to a point to understand that Jesus is able, he is more than able. We don't know, he just only call his name. I'm saying to you, I give you that a guarantee that Jesus is able to deliver you. Jesus is able to set you free. Jesus is able to bring about change in your life. Jesus is able to do mighty acts and mighty things. Hallelujah. Jesus is not only, he's not only calling, just only calling his name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he's able able to do wonderful things we underestimate she didn't look at what was taking place with her at that point in time she didn't look at what what was what what did what did the, what the disciples said hallelujah she didn't look at what the disciple was saying about her. She come to the point of understanding that she want help. In Psalm 21, 121, he said, I look onto the hills to where my help come from. My help doesn't come from nowhere else, but it come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The time has come where we have to go way beyond to the offense. Where we have to be in a place of, of we may be in a place of desperation. But Jesus, Jesus is willing to help. Jesus is willing to bring release in your life. Jesus is willing to fulfill that need. And this is why he shed his blood. This is why he died on the cross of Calvary. That, this is why, hallelujah, he bled. He bled, hallelujah, on our behalf. 
This is why he came when the devil had, had a hold of mankind. He came to redeem man back to God for us to understand who we are in Christ Jesus. Understand our purpose. Understand that we have, we have access to the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. We have access in healing. Hallelujah. We have access in certain things. Hallelujah. She, no, she accessed the kingdom of, of, of heaven. She accessed uh, what is in the kingdom of heaven. She accessed that. She pull it from Jesus Christ. She pull it from Jesus Christ and receive. At the same hour, her daughter was delivered. And sometimes we don't under understand what glorious present that we have with Jesus. Listen, heaven have parts. If you want a kidney, it have a kidney. If you want a gold stone, it have a gold stone. Whatever it is, you see, people don't don't tell people the truth, you know. Do you know that the Bible talk about ascending and descending in heaven? The parts is there. There are parts in heaven. Isn't it? Imagine, imagine on earth. On earth, we have a car. And the car has spare parts. It has boy joint. When your boy joint gone, you're going to buy a new boy joint. When different parts, different parts, hallelujah, the car have, hallelujah. It is, listen, it is on the earth. You run in the shop and you get it. In heaven, there's parts in heaven for human being. You may watch me and tell me what are you talking about? What, what Nancy story are you talking about? Yes, there's parts in heaven. Yes, and hey, hallelujah, somebody. I remember this. That this young woman, we went and prayed for her. And she had a hole in her heart. And we pray. And I didn't know at, at that point I was a young evangelist and young, um, but a young evangelist. And we went and prayed. And I, I prayed and I said, Lord, give her a new heart. Give her a new heart, Lord. And today I can report today at this present time. Hallelujah. This young lady is in America. She is uh, going for a doctorate in nursing in America. She have a new heart. Her heart, is not fun her heart is functioning well. Hallelujah. I did not know. And after years, God began to show me and reveal to me. Just part in heaven. Glory to God, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray the word. I declare the word. Hallelujah. And things begin to happen. And if you're outside there right now, and you're watching me right now, I say, I'm saying to you right now, what is willing to, um, to repair your heart. I remember we had a, a seminar in a hotel in Tobago. And this woman came and she had a heart problem. Glory to Jesus. And we lay hands upon her. And we command, hallelujah, we command, hallelujah, a new heart. And she's still alive today. Come on, people. You see, God is willing, Jesus is willing to heal us, you know. But what happened to us is that we of ourselves, we of ourselves, sometimes don't believe that God could do it. We put more trust in the doctors. I'm not saying nothing wrong with the doctors. I'm not saying wrong with that. But the word of God, it is there. God said, by his stripes, we are healed. We are healed, we are healed. Amen? It's not a matter of that you think you're healed or no. You are healed. As long as the word of God comes out of your mouth, which has power, which have authority. The word of God transfer into the realm of the spirit and dim dismantle whatever it is that sickness is. Because the word of God, hallelujah, will destroy every works of darkness. 
And sometimes we don't realize, hallelujah, that, hallelujah, we don't realize that as believers of Jesus Christ, that the word of God has power and authority. Glory to Jesus. Pour out your spirit. Pour out Hi, viewers. I really hope that you were blessed by this first part of Evangelist Marcus Lucas sharing. And I would like you to stay tuned next week for the continuation of this message. And I know it's going to be a blessing to you. So as you were blessed, continue to press into your faith, not allow offense to hinder your breakthrough to receive your miracle. This has been the outpouring for your refreshing Shalom. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour Reviewing out the outpouring your for your refreshing and infilling. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit.